Oh, was it a real date, Huey? Huey? We weren't really going on a date? <laughs> it, was, it was a virtual date. So you date. lied to her. <laughs> oh, you didn't lie. There was no lie. What are you talking about? Typical oh, male. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What did I miss? What did I miss? We need to go to court. I hate this RP that Pluto's doing right now, honestly. I'm actually <laughs> starting to break down the slowest. This is real. We really went on a date. <laughs> How can you say we, that? We, we, we How can you say that? And it was a fun okay. date, Pluto. We had oh, fun. It was super fun. But you, it wasn't real for you, Huey. Really. It wasn't real. <laughs> the it was real for me. Yeah, it was real for me. Oh my god. I think VR Ever. chat relationships only work if you don't get bitches in real life. I would have to somewhat agree with that. Actually, you know what? Strongly agree with that. Because I'm just going to be honest with you. There's only, there's only so many sleep calls and movie nights I can handle on VR chat. But, you know, most likely it's going to be a long distance relationship and you got to be down for that. You got to be ready for that. It's hard. Yeah, it is, it is pretty unique. Um, I don't actually mind it because in VR chat you can communicate quite a bit to people. You can get a really good connection with someone. I mean, personally, I uh, have had plenty of relationships and experiences with other people in this game. Unfortunately, I kind of dropped off like about half a year ago, but because it is a good thing to have, especially if you're lonely in real life. It's a good substitute, but it's not something that should be used as a substitute, if you get what I mean, because you need that human connection in real life as well. Hey, man, you got to connect with people wherever you can, man. The real world, the real world's toxic. You, you got to find connections with people where you can. And VR chat's pretty great. It's fun. I think it's healthy. I think it's healthy if you like, if they actually like, you know, plan on doing something with it. Like if they actually like each other. You're not going to send to the cops, right? No cops, yeah? We don't like the police. Okay. Oh, name place is off. Well, their feelings are real and they plan on meeting in real life and I'd say go for it. Like, let's be real here. I mean, if you are that desperate enough that you're willing to go to a random ass avatar on an online game and start dating them without even seeing what they are or what they look like or without even seeing what they act like in in real life. I mean, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's pretty it's fair enough. It's a desperate to call them move, desperate. my guy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's pretty desperate. That's fair enough. <laughs> I mean, in all fairness, though, I mean, shit. If I was that desperate enough and I were to log on VR chat and I were to see some of these big anime girls, dude, I'd be like, Ooga! Okay, hell yeah. So, uh, it's called Humans of VR. Go to his channel on YouTube and give him a follow. I think it's kind of weird, not gonna lie. I kind of think it's pretty cringe, in my opinion. Obviously, I do have some friends that have done it, and it's worked out for them pretty well, but I'm not gonna name these two friends. But if they see this, they're probably going to know exactly <laughs> uh, who. But yeah, they, well, as far as I know, they met on viewer chat and then they met in person. And as far as I know, their relationship has been going pretty strong. So like I've weighed, like I've preferred online dating to real life dating. And I don't know why. I think it's because you kind of get to know their personality a lot more than just being focused on their their physical self which i'm already against anyway because i don't care you know so being able to like have fun and play games and stuff like it's more like, fun for one me. of those you could also like do in your pajamas right and the other yeah. one is like you can I'm still technically in my pajamas. do in your pajamas but, you but it's, it's like kind of harder <laughs> you can be in your pajamas brother i got a vr chat girlfriend How's that going with you? I mean, it's going good. It's just the fact that she lives literally halfway across the country, and it's like, yeah. it's like one of like me. I'm not afraid to go there, but she's more afraid to come here, and it's like I don't want to go there because there's literally not shit hard. there, but there's a little bit more here, and I actually own my house. Like I have a house, and she lives with somebody, and it's like it'd just be better if you came here. <sighs> But like, you know, there's that weird thing with women that they're like, every man's gonna Baby fucking shopping. Kid, kidnap me and kill me. And it's like, uh, not really. It's one of those things where it's like, I mean, I, there is a very slim possibility that it works long term. But th at the end of the day, it's like, let's keep it a buck here. This is VR chat and shit moves faster than the weather changing. So you could either find somebody new or you could find somebody in real life which in real life is like the biggest problem with vr i think would you not agree jack what do you mean like real life like if you like lock in with somebody on vr and then like real life happens and like you find somebody in real life it's just so much more convenient 
Yeah, I mean, I've never, I've never locked in in this game. Well, I know you but... haven't, but I'm saying con- conceptually wise, oh, yeah. like the if concept I, of if it. If I had a VR girlfriend, I that's why I can't have a VR girlfriend because I would yeah. cheat. Yeah. So quick, first opportunity, yeah. I'm cheating. Because I mean, it, it's mm-hmm. almost like if you do cheat, there's not much guilt behind it. Because like, yes, that's another human being. You know what they look like. You FaceTime. You do this that, and the other with them. But at the end of the day, it's like, brother, they're they're like a thousand miles away. What are they going to do? If slash they get mad at you, just block them. Yeah, like I can literally delete you from my existence. I can delete you from my plane of reality. I got a friend who broke up with his real life girlfriend. So let me tell you oh, something: yeah. people can get real freaky here, extremely freaky. I feel like it really <laughs> depends on the person on itself, right? Because there are people that are kind of crazy, right? And if you're crazy, then you are not going to make good decisions. But it's definitely better than, like, people that just date and only get to do video calls. Like, this is not someone's real body, but at least you some sort of get the the, the body. You, mo- I do have this hairstyle and beard in real life. Ah. Yes. So, so this is his real body, yes. is, uh, but but like this is not your real body. <laughs> Bad example. But like I said to him, if their feelings are true and they're real, go for it. But listen, I got I got friend that you know I got friend that have right. They are they are like moving together and shit now. You know, I used to not believe in it. I think it's not long lasting. It's not gonna last long. It's just an online thing. But then my friend, you know, he meet up with his girlfriend and stuff and and then he he used to not work right but he started working because he wanted to buy a house for his girlfriend to live together you know he started started working hard and stuff and um his girlfriend you know they yeah they even went to japan they did a lot of shit together you know i used to not never believe in online dating until uh until my friend did it you know shout out to him i prefer irl i don't really date seriously in vr oh. it's not even I mean, it doesn't even have to be like that Little, but aren't they the same yeah. thing like you're dating to get to the point of real life aren't you see that's like... another thing i would never this is just me personal i would never like go out of my way to meet someone on here it's just my thing and so Are i can't really take something? this as seriously i'm sorry pluto maybe one day what oh I maybe, maybe one day you, it would break the spell of magic maybe one day. <laughs> it would break the spell of magic because you you would see would their break horrible my like flesh body right, right? Mm-hmm. Like, it would be like that doesn't look at like that point my meat mm-hmm. form that's why like my hair is always on a good day. I, mean, I think VR like, chat relationships some, only work. And like, I know, I know of one couple, and I know them. They live in my state that actually worked, and they moved in together, and they're happy together, and like they're living together now. That's the only time I've ever heard of that shit working. I think normal VR dating is a avenue where somebody can find affection in the VR realm. There's a possibility of it to actually work. It's very slim, but there's a possibility. I don't necessarily see anything wrong with it, but I also see where there is like it's like long distance, but it's not. It's absolutely, really there's a sti- yeah, there's absolutely a stigma to it. You can't really go and tell somebody like in real life, like, "Hey, I met this girl in VR chat and we're dating," without sounding like a fucking weirdo. Like, let's keep it a buck. Like that just sounds weird to anybody. Hey, I met this pixel um, woman. Yeah, I met this pixel woman, and we really clicked, and uh, now we're dating. There's like this really slim, and I'll say like 10% possibility of it actually working long term. I'd give it a 2% like, chance. Two? I'd give it a five. I'd give it a five. I'd give it a solid five. 10% is being hopeful. I can tell you my experience. Similar to Stu here, I've been on VR mm-hmm. chat near the beginning. So I've been five years. So similar, I joined VR chat much younger. I wanted to try new things. And yes, I did try VR chat dating in the very early days. Dated two different girls in VR chat, but nothing amounted to nothing. And here's my experience with it. And from all the experiences and stories I've heard from my friends, it's like a long distance relationship. But if one of them doesn't put the effort in, it will not work. And what I mean by effort, mm-hmm. they need to try to meet each other in real life. If they keep it purely online, it's not a relationship that will work. The second girl I dated, I actually really liked her and I wanted to meet her, but she put no effort in in meeting me. 
and then we just ended it. In VR chat, it's the lack of consequences that creates a much more gamified atmosphere, where it's like, I'm How just going to spend that? time with you I whenever can't. I feel like it, and I'm not at all going to actually commit to any of the parts of dating. It's true. I feel, Huey did I feel it to like... me. What? That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I it's what like happened. We should go to court about, about it. it. Uh, well, I have to go to court. I'll defend myself. I'm defending myself right now. You want to see okay. someone oh, go to jail yeah? so bad? Is I'm, what I'm, hearing. I'm defending Pluto. No drink for you. I want to get someone no, no, executed. Actually, that's what I'm feeling tonight. You know? If okay. Blood so you're you're spill, not about you're not about prison. You're more about heads will roll. Look, I think yeah. that like VR dating is is. There's two different tiers, obviously, apparently, what I'm learning right now. I feel like the majority of, like, VR dating, you could also say is, like, more of, like, a friend date kind of thing. Like, you're trying to get to know a person on, like, a one-on-one -on -one level rather than, like, oh, this Are will be a potential... Right now? I'm not... <laughs> God damn, Pluto, let me finish! <laughs> <What>? Damn. <laughs> Whoa. So. Y'all heard that, right? Oh. Yeah, it does kind of sound like that. Write that down, write that down, we need to scroll write that down. down. Let him cook. But, if you're, if you're someone that's wanting to, like, date people online, but, like, in a serious capacity, then I think that's a conversation that needs to be established first, because I don't think the majority of people are going to go into it with that mentality. Pluto, Pluto, cover your ears, you don't need to hear this. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. hear that? Y'all right hear that? Here. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's okay. I muted my husband okay. the whole time. For I, the hate, I hate this RP that Pluto's doing right now, honestly. I'm actually starting to break down this toilet. This is very old. We really went on a date. We went on a date. We went on a date. And it was a fun right. date, Pluto. We oh, had fun. It was super fun. But you, it wasn't real for you, you. It wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> it, was it was real, real that I got her. to know you as a person, it brother. It was real for me. Yeah, it was real for me. Oh my god. Huey, <laughs> you are falling Killer. down the cliff right now. Oh, oh, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're uh, going to be sushi, sushi does sound boy. good right now. Eat that man for dinner. dinner. <gasps> we can serve him for our date night. Oh. <gasps> There you Somebody go. takes me on a real date. You and I am! Wait a minute, <laughs> wait, there you go. On. wait a minute. <laughs> Celine just said that she's on my opinion of this. She doesn't take it seriously. She doesn't take it, like, romantically seriously That's true. either. I so. don't either. <laughs> yeah, so what the hell? Why, is, why does she I'm get always, a pass? Wait a minute. Hold on. Rewind. Uh -oh. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> Huey, Ooh, we remember a, like a couple weeks before it's our date quick. when you asked me on said date. First off, you asked me Hold specifically on. all this date. Wait, I'm not done. That's <laughs> that. Oh, let me. That is, she's she is <laughs> no, grossly no, misrepresenting no, this story. No, no, I'm gonna tell no, you guys no, exactly no, what no, happened. No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh. no, 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 well, that is on. not what happened. Yeah, like, not not a joke, like, more like I've a prank. Platonic dates. Wow, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no. No, 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 it's not a prank. Pluto, don't I say that. I got a lot of that in high school, I get it. Pluto! Oh. Oh. Was that a thing? Did people do that? Okay, I had some ice cream, guys, I'm alright. I feel better now, Pluto. <laughs> No. You made her take out her ice cream. Yeah, get, look, get, get some pudding. Could we get some pudding for the table, please? Look, Ooh, virtual like real I think dating, it's, it's table, fine. But it's not the kind you think. It's fine. It's fun. You uh, get to know people. Know if something like, rom like would romantic be. would to happen, maybe. Explain. But I don't think that should be like going into it. That should be the mentality. I think virtual reality dates should be more about getting to know the person. And I think that's the biggest problem, especially, I wouldn't even say on the women's side of it, I'd say it's more the men. I think it's more men that fuck up VR chat relationships than women, because like, at the end of the day, men have certain needs, and if they're presented to them in IRL, they're gonna do it. Even though they might actually genuinely care for the person that they are in a relationship with on VR chat, there is literally zero possibility of getting caught if they're like a thousand miles away. So it's like, why would, like, I mean, I know there's morals involved. Yeah, sure, morally it's wrong. Really, even though there are still success stories, I don't really believe sure. that the chances of it working is really low. Because really especially low. if yeah. the two people live really far away. And I think usually people just go into a relationship to have a status. 
to say that they're in a relationship and it's not really real. That's why when he did it, I'm impressed. You know, when I remember. Our yeah, friends he, did it, I was very yeah. impressed by that. Next they year she's going to move. In. Yeah, they're going to move in, stay together and shit, you know. I personally still don't really believe in it. I think that case is an exception. Most cases, mm-hmm. I think, don't work out in VR jet relationships. Dude, I want ice cream. Hold on. Hugh, you made her take out the ice cream. See what you did? See what you did? Um, Damn. I'm a bad, I'm a you bad person. You heartbreak food? You're a monster. You really cut me deep on that one. So I I'm sorry, Pluto. I, I don't I mean to make you feel bad. Don't look at me. Cake batter, I don't want Pluto I to ever feel bad. More often than like the don't celebratory me. stuff. I mean, it's literally Pluto. It's and, and that's the toughest thing for me is like trying to coordinate bringing my partner down here so we can spend some real life time together because she can't afford to do it but i can i can fly her out whenever i want to but it's just on her well there's only so much i can wait she's hesitant she's not hesitant she's more of waiting for the right time in her schedule to do it because she she works she's a school she's a teacher it's like i would have to wait till summer and brother that's a long time listen i'm a dog i'm in these streets I hung up the collar before I got with her. And now it's like, I am craving nothing but. And I got a roster that's still lined up. But what if she's lying to you saying that? She could be. That's like... that's the danger you play with. That's the other side of it. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up. That's the other side of it, bro. You don't know what they're doing in their day to day. Like, bro, like she's told me plenty of times, oh, I'm going to hang out with some IRL homies. And like yeah, a few of them are dudes. It and it's like, I'm not insecure about that. Like, I understand. Like, I have some homies who are girls. I always shoot them like homies. But like, I don't know. I don't know how she functions. Do I think she is? No. Do I think she's loyal? Yeah, for the most part. But there is that slim possibility that she ain't loyal. And she is doing what she needs to do to get hers. And I ain't doing what I got to do to get mine's. Anything's possible. That's, that's the shitty part about VR. It's like maximum... For the most part, most people are on this game eight hours a day. Or eight hours on their off days. That's a long time on this video game. The other eight hours, bro, you don't know you don't know what anybody's doing. People are e daying mainly just so it's like someone to talk to, someone to interact with, like every now and then. And like a lot of people do it as well because a lot of people on VR chat especially can't be weirdos. But like having someone with you. Like I, I used to play like a lot like every day years ago and like I had stuff for my mental health. It was horrible. It's just so bad. Yeah, I think uh, VR is very important right now. It is in its beginning stages, of course, and it's still got a lot of development to do. It's not as big as it is with consoles and stuff, but it's definitely incredibly large as a community. Kindness is contagious. When you are kind, you inspire others. Be the spark. Spreading kindness merchandise available now.